in the video. So, frame rate loss because I am streaming. I'm going to stop talking like a fool. So, we're going to hit the people as we go. So, I guess we'll actually start with McCree, who got changed in this patch. So, my, what? Okay. Don't know why my mouse was there instead of my actual ability to move. So, McCree can now ha now possesses the range of about Soldier 76, in which case his fall off doesn't apply too far. Yeah, see, I'm still dealing. And now I've fallen off from that long range. But... I sh okay, so let's see. The there are meter markers. There should be meter markers. So yeah, this is five, ten. Okay, so that's twenty meters. That's decent range here. So he's shooting the guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna reset him. Okay, so his range is pretty far. Just kind of waiting for him to reassemble areas. Okay. <laughs> Try to find it. Like, they ha should have a longer one. Oh wait, here it is. Duh. Okay, increments. Is the stream messed up? Can you guys hear me? Because on my end, I'm seeing blank. You might. I don't know. Let me know. So that's 40 meters. So. What? Well, that's 10, 20 meters. His damage, relatively unchanged. Kinda. I'm just gonna fan the hammer. Don't mind me. 30 meters. I just got a headshot. Didn't mean to get a headshot. Well, actually, I need to reset him anyway, so... I'm gonna reload my, uh... My Twitch on my browser here. So, again, everything that I upload just goes straight to YouTube. So, yeah. The, uh... Um, doesn't change. At 30 meters, he's still doing the same amount of damage. So, just go ahead and kill it and go all the way back... ...to 40 full meters. So, this is what? Long range, technically? Body shot. Yeah, the damage is different. Headshot no longer instant kills. So he's got some pretty far range now. He's going to be able to effectively take on a sniper somewhat decently. I'm going to flashbang him. I'm a good cowboy man. Let's go. Oh, God. It's There. Yes. Don't waste an ultimate, right? Don't, you know, the gym should actually be like a uh, respawn point. It would kind of make sense. I like that. Anyway, we're gonna head back. Yeah, we're gonna head back to like the comm station. Makes sense, right? So that's McCree. He's he just got like a nice damage, I guess buff. I I don't know if it's called that. Soldier was somewhat changed. Nothing too dramatic. Um. His reticle, this is what I was talking about. So I'm gonna fire wildly. My reticle goes down slowly. It no longer instantly resets. However, it doesn't take that long to actually reset. About the time you stop seeing the visual effect is about the time you can start firing and be accurate as hell again. <clears throat> now I'm trying to think here because these guys, the defense heroes remained mainly unchanged. Like there wasn't much to do. With them, so they they are all right. Diva got again. I'd say a, almost a complete rework. So we're just gonna go over here and kind of farm up a little bit. So I'm gonna farm up an alt real quick. That's the main thing. But uh, defense matrix, you can see, is no longer bound to E. It's actually a right click. You can stop it, bring it up any time. Block your firing. It's got a little bar there. So I'm gonna train it all the way. Okay, it takes, they say it takes about 10 seconds for it to charge all the way to full. So that's the drawback for this. It also takes one second before you can start recasting it. But it has, like, its own lifespan now. Doesn't, like, have a health pool, but you can use it whenever you want, cut it off whenever you want, and still have it available. So let's just go ahead and farm this guy up. Alright. Flight remained unchanged, which you can see that. Now, her alt has been altered completely. Kinda. It takes three seconds to detonate, and I can be in the middle of the blast. So, divas are now more potent. 
three seconds to blast. So that flying up, you don't really need to do that anymore if you don't want to. You can bail at any time. You can even be in a fight still shooting your gun while they try to scramble away from your mech. So you're a lot more deadly, a lot more potent in the fight. And it, it's just nice. It's actually very nice. Diva should be able to see more plays. She shouldn't be... I don't know, like... Bad mouthed, I guess, is what I would kind of call it. Because I like her as a tank. I like having a diva with another tank. She's a good, like, harasser. Her uh, her defense matrix is nice now. She can actually block when she needs to save her squishy teammates. So she was changed. Reinhardt's unchanged. Roadhog. The rest of these guys are unchanged. Zenyatta. I'm going to save Ana for a bit. Zenyatta got r buffed. His balls travel almost instantaneously now. Oh, if they haven't already. Like, the orbs themselves, the Harmony and Discord, just snap to people. They just snap. They were 30, I think it was 30 meters a second, and they got switched up to 120 meters a second. So you can cross map this and actually save lives. But uh, the crazy part is actually Zenyatta's ultimate, which now heals for more health as well. If I can, if I could hit these guys, it'd be nice. Actually, I don't know why I'm not discording. Watch out. Okay, I'm gonna fly, I'm gonna speed around like a Mack truck now. His movement speed is doubled. His heal strength is a hundred, another hundred a second. He can get in and out as much as he wants. Which is actually very nice. He's not going to die anytime soon. Makes me happy. I like playing him. I'd love to see more Zenyatta. Because when his nerf hit, he fell out of the meta so hard. Everybody's talking about the meta. Oh god, the meta. Everybody talks about it like it's a, uh, the governing rules of law. But not order. Anyway. But uh, after his nerf, he no longer saw... He was not played in a single match of competitive. Which is sad. I mean, everybody else got at least some playtime. They saw some moments. But Zenyatta never was played once. Which just sucks, you know? It, it make it make me cry. So, now to everyone's favorite. The 22nd hero of Overwatch, Ana. Ana Amari, Farah's mother. And the person I've already kind of decked out with. I love this emote. She has tea time. I think they were meant for each other. <laughs> so... Big question. Her dot effect is almost instant. About a second. She deals anywhere from 77 to 80 damage. Don't quite know. Haven't gotten a chance to calculate. So that's a thing. Now, healing period is flat. There is no headshot damage. It's just straight up that damage. Now, the grenade, if it's placed on allies, they cannot heal and they take damage. Which the bots don't actually show that effect very well. Uh, if an ally is struck by it, which I'm going to give it in a few seconds, heals for a flat 100, and then all healing after is just amplified. Her ultimate is a buff in every sense. Speed, damage, and resistance. And a nice effect. Alright, I wish... Yeah, I, I can't actually see like how much damage he's doing. The bots, again, don't show it too well. Sleep Dart. If I had hit that, he'd be out cold for about 6 seconds. It, again, if I had hit that. Now, as for that, the Sleep Dart, if they're not damaged in any way, an enemy will stay on the ground for six full seconds. Now, if a Zarya decides to come along, she can wake them up with her barrier, which removes all negative effects. So, there's that. Ana could actually be a good counter to a, um, a Zenyatta, now that I think about it. I was, I was going to say that before I switched over, but... Again, I didn't think that well, or that far ahead. Um, basically, Ana can throw this grenade on an enemy group. And, well, I'm, I'm a bad medic. <laughs> I keep forgetting, but the, these are these are robots. Still. Um, he can, she can prevent all their healing, and Zenyana just saved himself with that. So that's what... Uh, she can just stop any and all their healing. Get back in the fight. Which, it's nice. I hope to see her in a lot of games, but not too often. Also, um, side note for anybody who plays competitive mode. There is no longer hero stacking on competitive. 
they, that's active this patch, which this patch is the next patch for Overwatch. I personally think that they are waiting for uh, like the tournament they're hosting right now. The preliminary is being held. I honestly think they're waiting to where this patch is going to go live after it's so it doesn't change anything. But I again, I'm not going to say that, oh yeah, if it's not there, fuck. I'm not here to dictate that it's going to happen. I don't know for sure. That's just what I'm speculating. So that's a thing. Sorry about the frame rate. Working on a lot of things with this. But yeah. Going to heal some bots. Yeah, it doesn't show their effects. Like when you hit an ally or an enemy with this, it will. Um, the bars will glow yellow or they'll glow blue or purple, depending on who is who. So, yep, yeah, that is the PTR updates currently, as they stand. I, I'm almost certain I'm forgetting something. I'm almost certain. Like, there's a lot I didn't cover. But these are the general hero tweaks and hero balances. Um, let me see here. Let's see. Uh, I actually have it open right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so something that actually does need to be covered. Healing now boosts Uber Charge. Or Uber charge. God, I've I played so much TF2, but healing will boost your charge for uh, alt game. Because of this, heroes like Lucio, Mercy, Roadhog, their uh, their alts have been the t like the amount of points to use it have been increased by 10%, with the exception of a certain few. Like Roadhog here is uh, the most extreme case. His case is his alt was. Uh, set to an additional 45% uh, charge increase. Mercy got 30, but Mercy... Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, Mercy's got a lot, actually. It's been done to her. Mercy's has 30, but she still gains it really quickly. Her damage output, though, has been increased to um, 50%. So you're now doing 50% damage to them, to the enemies. Or with... My God. This beam. <laughs> the damage buff beam. It increases them to 50%. I actually I did not hear about the new update for TF2. I've actually stopped following TF2. So give me a second. Ah, uh, I keep I keep mixing the two games together, TF2 and Overwatch, just because I played that for so long. But yeah, see, it's, Mercy's not building as as quickly as she normally does. She still builds it up really fast, but not too fast. But uh, her ult no longer pins her to the ground. So when I ult, I can move. So I'll let these two like start dying in a second. You're ready to do some damage. No, just have him do some damage. Some dablage. Okay. I'm gonna let these two die. Mercy's ult, again, has everyone's like changed some way or another. Like a lot of heroes are getting tweaked this game. Or this patch. This is gonna be a big patch. And I can move and cast my ult. <clears throat> so I'm no longer stuck. Her blaster still does some decent damage. I actually didn't know these guys talked. This is the first time I've actually heard them talk. So, I'm gonna charge up a little bit. And. I'm trying to think here. Uh, attack visor was increased by 10%. Let's talk about spread for 76. Zenyatta's changes that were talked about. Um, don't know. Oh! Uh, fun little tidbit that kind of, for the spectators who like to watch a lot of Overwatch and stuff, the uh, guest cam, the uh, spectator cam, has a collision box now on certain maps. Don't know exactly what that means, but talked about it with Z and it'd be kind of interesting to see a, uh, a Roadhog fling the spectator cam out of the map. Just saying. So... I guess that'll do it for this video. I'm gonna start up another thing that's gonna be on Twitch solely, so I'm not gonna try to be fancy with it like I normally am. Valhalla. Yay, Valhalla! I'll see you all next time.